We are at the confluence of the Ohio, Allegheny, and Monongahela Rivers at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey and he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28 yard line five yards on the game's first play second down that's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards on it and be frank about it most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that so when they do they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps they're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage Second and five. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Panthers. screen to McCaffrey. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their... Production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self motivated, they have a lot of pride in their performance. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. And very little there. He 
might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, Winston. Got an open man, and C.J. Uzama. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. play on the completion got them half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five from the shotgun it's winston pressure comes in he's brought down it's a panther sack yitor gross matos he's the one to get him and that is sack number seven for him on the year Fourth down, here comes a Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Now second and seven from the 23. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. They head to the line facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. throw here out of the gun and that's going to be incomplete the contact there enough to jar that ball free and it brings up fourth down looks like a second empty possession to start the game and certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week every team talks about starting fast they're hoping on their next possession it can be a delayed fast start and get them going only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. All told that a 55-yard punt with a net of 40 after the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet 
and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play fake. Winston. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Winston. There's a short one caught by Uzama, and he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second and seven. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. and 10, Winston. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. toss and he's gonna take it in for a Steeler touchdown a great effort there 
with touchdown number seven on the year. As his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Nothing Steelers. Makes the score Steelers seven. Panthers nothing. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's oh, a screen pass. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's McCaffrey. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position. Their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Jameis to throw it. Able to hit his target, Claypool. 
And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They were backed up to start the drive, but how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. From the ball carrier. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Now they try the right side here. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Here's Winston. This is Johnson, he's got it. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That third down conversion, good for 23. At the 48-yard line. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Jameis now on first down. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Flush to his right. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Steelers first down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. The first down throw for Winston. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Brings up second and a yard at the 12-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, it's Winston. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 
It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. At the three-yard line. Try to run this one in. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Steelers. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Boswell for the extra point. Good to make it 14 nothing. Makes the score Steelers 14, Panthers nothing. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Yitor Gross Matos. Make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. They get just a yard back there, and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15. Throw is Winston. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down. Spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 34-yard line. Second and 12, Winston. Completion here to Claypool. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. He gets it left side to Johnson. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Evades him at the 20, and down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Pickup. Brings up second and three. Throwing. Winston. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. This will make it into the end zone. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. They're on 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score.
And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second and six, just inside the 30. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. and the shutdown corner was there on the coverage. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down and they're going to go for it. They'll run for it, McCaffrey. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Going to give this time to the tailback. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. To throw, Winston. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. Back now in Pittsburgh. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Here's Jordan Berry now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. 
And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. to throw now on first down into heavy traffic and it's intercepted the safety Terrell Evans picks it the CD I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape he's like ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball no doubt about it and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball but remember second year as you noted on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward. That's thrown to Smith-Schuster out wide. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. At the Panthers' 29-yard line. From the gun, Winston. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. What a difference a week makes. Five interceptions in their last game. Here we are, fourth quarter. He's played mistake-free football. And I'm sure that we can look back on the past week and say, okay, he spent time in the film room, and they worked on his mechanics. Sometimes it's just your team believing in you, your coaching staff believing in you, and you relax and play to your potential. And he's doing that in this game. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 17-yard line. Behind the chain, second and 12. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, hey. Now Winston. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. The Steelers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third down and 12. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Troy Pride. There he goes, left side. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25-yard line. The 
Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it, and let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there his way through contact and he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield 19 yards the pick up there move the chains i know we're the air of wide open football a lot of spread formations more space but there's still a spot for power football we just saw some of it right there how about that run yeah breaking the tackle and you know late in this game he wants a football in his hands he's had a good day they'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And he'll give it here to his running back. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Charles defensively, one timeout left. Do you use it here or do you let it roll to the two-minute warning? I would use it here because you're going to get the two-minute warning stoppage as well. And then that means you have to snap the ball again. Something could happen. Something could go awry. You could get the ball back. I wouldn't let it run. The Steelers on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will have a Steelers first down as he'll be marked out a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Come on, man. Let's go. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And a solid run down inside the 30. The running back. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game the offense. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game, number nine on the season. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line.
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Did they try to put together something here at the end just to take in the next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build. Just something to